Hello and welcome back to another weekend project right out of the pages of Make Magazine. I'm your host, Kip K. Well, this weekend it's another musical weekend project as together we're going to build what could be the world's smallest mini synthesizer. It's the Mooftronic. <laughs> The Mooftronic Mini Synth Project can be found in Make Volume 15, and it's by Brian McNamara. The list of parts to build the Mooftronic is in the PDF and also in the magazine article, but you'll need resistors, a voltage regulator, the pickaxe microcontroller and socket, a 9-volt battery clip, a mini speaker, a 3.5mm stereo jack, and a serial programming cable. If you're new to electronics, a good way to check your resistors is by using a multimeter. Put it in the ohm position and put your leads across the resistor. That'll give you the ohm rating of the resistor. And you can also use handy color code charts that you can find online. You'll start by soldering eight of the resistors to the pins across the socket. Be careful making your solder connections so the pins don't touch. Next, the voltage regulator is added, and there's a connection made to that from our 9-volt battery clip, and the two other connections get soldered into the socket. We'll also add the stylus, which is what is used to make the sounds, and then also an antenna, which will be used to modify the sounds by touching it. The programming port will be our 3.5 millimeter audio jack, and we wire our connections up to that, and then carefully install the pickaxe microcontroller chip. And we'll also wire in a small headphone speaker. The last installation steps are to go to the pickaxe website, which you'll find at this web address, Download the Pickaxe programming editing software, install that on your computer, and also plug in the Pickaxe programming serial cable, plug that into your computer, and then we're going to install the program onto our mini synth. Plug the programming cable into the mini synth port, then you'll want to open the Mooftronic software file, which you can find at this address. Once it's loaded, we're going to put our 9 volt battery on our 9 volt battery clip and fire up our Mooftronic and run the software which will download the program into our mini synth and here's what it sounds like touching the antenna will alter the sounds coming out of the mini synth in a very strange way the last thing you'll want to do for the Mooftronic is to put some hot glue over your resistors and all of your connections to protect them hot glue your speaker on and also add some zip ties to your uh, lengths of cable going to your uh, mini jack just to kind of tidy things up a bit and the software is really cool because you can go in and edit the software and make some really crazy sounds with the Mooftronic mini synth. I'm Kip K. We'll see you next week with another weekend project.